everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, a huge thank you to everybody who has been super supportive throughout this entire thing. And to all of my subscribers, I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I hope that you're loving the content that I'm putting out. So last video, I talked about a Bible that I found in one of our um, buffets. And the buffet has been in my family for a while and we dug it up from the basement and it's been sitting in our dining room ever since. So if you haven't seen that video, just make sure you go back and check it out. Also, we have our Etsy shop up and running. I've actually already sold something that we found in the house. I didn't sell it on Etsy though, so it won't appear on my market because I had to delete it since I sold it on a different website. But we sold... Um, a pair of 1980s vintage Budweiser Steins. So that was pretty cool to find those. I didn't really feel like it was that big of a deal that I needed to make a video about it and show you guys. So just make sure um, we are sharing things that we found in the house as we go and some of them are just I can't make a whole video on so make sure if you're interested in seeing those items and seeing some of the other things that we get just make sure you go to our Etsy shop which I'll put in the description below. So today I'm going to start kind of a new series. It's going to be its own category um, about scary stories. If you've been following along with me since the beginning you probably know that my house is haunted. And one of the things I wanted to do with this YouTube channel and one of the things that you guys requested was for me to share some of my childhood stories and some of the stories that have happened to me as I was growing up. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to be able to fit everything into one video, so I'm going to have to split it up into multiple parts. So you'll just have to keep coming back to my channel and watching the rest to get the full story. But today my scary story is going to be reasons why I think my bedroom is haunted by children. Yes, by children. <laughs> so here's part one of the story of why I believe that my room is haunted by children. Well, it all started when I moved into my bedroom that I'm in now. And if you remember a few videos back, I talked about how I was in a different room and I ended up moving out of that room because there were some weird things happening and my sisters had moved out. So I got to choose which of the two bedrooms I wanted. Well, after I moved into the room that I'm currently in, that room used to be the guest room. So anytime my sisters used to come back and visit, they would stay in this room and I would stay in my original bedroom. After they left though, there were so many creepy things that were happening in my original bedroom that I chose to move into the guest room. Everything was fine and dandy. And as you know, I found those pictures in the closet and the Ouija board. But my parents used to have something sitting in the corner of that room that they found in the basement. So because this was the guest bedroom and not technically my own bedroom, I wasn't allowed to really change anything in this bedroom because if my sisters were to come home, they would still get to sleep in the guest bedroom and I would have to sleep in my original bedroom. So anyways, one day my dad was kind of looking down in the basement and he found an antique rocking chair. Well, I never really had a problem with this rocking chair. Of course, it was kind of weird that it was just sitting in the corner as like a decoration and that we had found it in the house. But one day, when I was a teenager, I was starting to fall asleep and all of a sudden I kept hearing this noise in my bedroom and it was coming from that corner. Now, of course, I was too scared to get up and look, so I laid there and listened with the blankets over my head. And what I heard was the rocking chair hitting the wall. I was so terrified. I thought that maybe if I laid there and listened long enough with the covers over my face that it would just stop and go away and then I could go to sleep and everything was fine and I would wake up feeling like it was just a bad dream. But of course it didn't stop. So I finally got up the guts to take the blanket off my face and to look and check to make sure that that's what was really happening. And yes, that's exactly what was happening. The rocking chair was rocking by itself. In the middle of the night, around 2 a.m., when I tell you guys that I was so scared, I mean I was so scared that I didn't even want to get out of bed out of fear of my feet touching the ground. What I actually did instead was I picked up my cell phone and I called my dad who was asleep in the next room over and I was crying for him to come into the bedroom and turn the lights on. 
So of course my dad comes in there and he opens the door, he flips the light on and he can see that I'm obviously incredibly upset. He asks what's wrong and I pointed to the rocking chair. So as I'm telling my dad that the rocking chair was rocking by itself, he tries to comfort me by saying it's probably just your grandma. My grandma passed away before I could meet her. So anything paranormal that happened in the house, my dad would try to comfort me by saying it was just one of my loved ones that was looking out for me. But I know this couldn't be true because one thing about the rocking chair... So as you can see, this isn't just an ordinary chair. It's actually a chair built for children. That's right, it was made for a child. So that same night, my dad took the rocking chair out of my bedroom and put it back in the basement where he found it in hopes that maybe if he put it back, it wouldn't disturb anything or the weird things that were happening might stop happening. But it didn't stop there. And like I said, I'm not gonna be able to fit this entire story into this one video, so I'm gonna make it a series. This is part one of why I think my bedroom is haunted by children. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe. I'm obviously going to be doing more videos in the future about us exploring the house. I know that that's kind of the most popular topic that you guys are interested in. The only thing with those types of videos is it takes a lot of preparation and it takes a lot of time, so we usually can't do them during the week because we work. But we definitely will have more videos like that coming up soon. I will also keep doing a series of hidden treasures, um, showing you guys some of the cool things that we find in this house. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing the things, even some of the things that I show off camera, make sure you go to my Etsy page. I'm going to copy and paste the link in the description so that you guys can head on over there just to check it out or just to follow me so that when I post something, you guys get notified and you can check it out. Also, please make sure you share this with your family and friends. I would very much appreciate it. You guys have already been so amazing and I'm so thankful for the support. That's everything for today, so make sure you keep coming back to hear the rest of the story. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week.